Ray? Oh, yes. He's got floppy ears. And a trunk. And a trunk. And a pink hat. <gasps> it must be... Mama Mirabelle! It's time for Mama Mirabelle's home movies! In all my far-flung travels round the world six times at least I made a movie star of every creature found beauty in every piece Mama Mirabelle's home movies! From up north in Norm, Alaska Way back down to Kathmandu like a couple of baby birds. Yes, and they seem upset. <coughs> Hello, little birds. Yoo-hoo! Excuse me. Over here. Are you having some trouble? Looks like they may be a little lost. Cheetahs never get lost. Now, Bo, getting lost is nothing to be ashamed of. It can happen to anyone. Not cheetahs. I think we can help. But first things first, what are your names? Dib and Dab. I think they might be twins, Mama. I think you might be right, Maxie. Now, let me see a few more questions. Yes, like how about where is your home? Mama, isn't their home down on the ground like everybody else? Not everybody lives on the ground, Max. What about them? <laughs> OK, but only monkeys would ever live in a tree. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, come on. We've got to help Dip and Dab find their home. They're so cute. Oh, dear. Carla's right. Their mum and dad are probably looking for them right now. Can you tell us what your home looks like? Mm, sorry you've lost me. But let's see if we can work it out. What sort of places do animals live in? Can anyone tell me where animals live? Hey, what about water? Animals live in the water, don't they? Well, yes, that's one big place they live. But if you really think about it, there are really three. The water, the ground, or high up in the air. And I may just have some movies to show us the amazing variety of homes there are. Mama's got movies of just about every kind of animal and animal home there is. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. Slightly soggy shelters. Thanks for keeping an eye on it, Carlos. Movie time, it's movie time. Mama Mirabelle's home movie time. Roaming friends, lend me an ear. When you hear that call, roam over here. Let's take a look at how animals live in the water. OK, everyone. Ready? Fireflies, light it up. Dib and Dab, keep your eyes open for somewhere that looks like home. See? Many, many different kinds of animals live in the water. 
Whoa, that's a lot of fish. Oh, yes. And the fish are swimming around the coral reef, which is made from the bodies of millions and millions of little animals. And lots of creatures live in and around it. It's a bit like an undersea block of flats. There are all sorts of other homes in the ocean. This hermit crab is going out for a walk and he's taking his house with him. He lives in old shells other creatures leave behind. Some animals just love swimming around. Like these dolphins. Whoa, dolphins! There's my old friend Seymour, the sea turtle. He lives in an old shipwreck. It's all so pretty. But none of these are birds, Mama. You're right, Carla. But birds do live in or near water, too. Oh, look! There are some birds right there. You're right. Look out, everyone. Duck! <laughs> <laughs> so, Dip and Dab, any of those homes look familiar? Oh. Don't worry, there are plenty more where that came from. Let's see now. Aha! Living off the land. Dib and Dab, take a look at these animal homes on and in the ground. Wow! The savannah! That's right, the savannah is another place where lots of animals live, many of them on the ground. A cheetah! And zebras! <laughs> Hey, where are they going? Well, some animals don't just live in one place. Their home is over a big area, so they spend a lot of time roaming around from place to place. Like us elephants! Where's that snake going? Home. That hole is his home. A lot of animals that live on the land actually live under it. They dig holes called burrows, like these meerkats. Oh, look out behind you there, mate! <laughs> <laughs> and other animals like otters or wolves live in homes called dens. And dens can be caves or hollow logs or even upside-down tree stumps. And some animals build their own homes like this termite mound. That thing is big! Oh, yes. Some termite mounds can even be taller than a giraffe. And birds can build their homes on the ground, too, like these mallyfowls. How about it? Did those birds look like relatives of yours? Oh. I don't know, Mama. There's so many different kinds of animal homes. Yes, but with all their differences, they have a lot in common. Home is always the place we live with those who care for us. A place where we sleep and eat and a place where we always feel safe. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. OK, well, we've got one more movie, remember? There were three. Water, land and... High up, high up, high up in the air! Great, Maxie! Critters and Creatures, I proudly present Homes High Up. There ought to be lots of birdies here. Those lovebirds have quite a homely little knot hole in this tree. Cool. Birds are really good at building their homes too. Just look at these weaver birds' nests. They make them themselves, you know, out of grass and twigs. Oh, and there's Dennis. Whoa, they look like bags or something. You're right, Maxie, they do. Yeah, and hey, I think we're getting warmer. But birds aren't the only ones who live high up. Other animals like these furry chaps like to sleep off the ground too. That way, nobody bothers them while they're having a snooze. Mm, he does look pretty comfy. You're right there. But here are some other interesting home builders. These birds don't build their nests out of grass and twigs, but out of mud. <laughs> I love mud. <laughs> I know you do, Max. And these birds do too. They're called cliff swallows, and they build their homes high up on cliffs out of mud. I think our new friends are trying to tell us something. What is it, boys? Something about those cliff swallows? Yeah, 
Mama, I think... I think Dip and Dab are Cliff Swallows. Yes. <laughs> hey, you know, I think there are some cliffs over by the riverbed. Come on! Well, tug my trunk. Look at that. Hello there. Hello there. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, gosh. You're welcome. Well, that was the sort of day that makes you feel as good as a tomato bug in an Italian restaurant. It feels nice helping someone, doesn't it, Carla? Yeah, we can always come and visit. Right, Mama? Right, Carla. <laughs> Bye! See you on the savannah. Bye! Jim.